How's it going everybody, Hades here with another action-packed episode of Kenshi. So in this video, I would like to do a few things first and foremost. I want to go to the Dust King Tower, knock those people out, maybe scout out the area, see if I can find more places that I could like wipe out. And I'd also like to focus a little bit on my city's agricultural aspects, expanding on our crops and farms, that kind of thing. I'd like for it to get to the point where we don't need to rely on meat anymore and we don't have to go out sending hunting parties. And instead, we can just rely solely on growing our own food. So it's seven in the morning, fresh start, new day. Let's go ahead and get this journey started. We're going to go ahead and send everybody over to the Dust King Tower. We're going to be careful to avoid all those beak things over there. You know, we should probably get these guys in a formation. Not that it has any effect on their traveling, I just think it'll look better. And of course, we're going to have everyone follow beep because who else would they follow? Okay, that definitely looks better, but I'm pretty sure there's a way for it to be more of a military formation. Ah, uh, okay, so those are some pretty big iron spiders. Let's try to avoid all that. How the hell do I get it to be a military? Whoa, what is going on? Okay, it's just a bunch of hungry bandits. That's fine. Consider this a light warm up for my guys. Follow formation, random. We want to change that to military. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how you get it to work. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, there's even more people chasing us now. That's great. There's a bunch of hungry bandits in this region. It's more practice. We'll go ahead and oblige these people's uh, death wish. Half naked people see a bunch of armored hivers and they say, hey, this is a perfect opportunity for us to get ourselves killed. That's gotta be what they say. I mean, look at this person. Does she honestly think she stands a chance? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. All right, who do we have here? And it looks like a bunch of slave mongers. Yeah, no, that's probably a good idea. Just letting us pass. This formation looks incredibly good. Okay, where are we? Okay, we're fairly close. And apparently we're under attack by a bunch of hungry bandits again. Oh, what a lovely change. A bunch of dust bandits. It only makes sense. We're right outside of their compound. I think, yep, that's it. I love watching Madara do his thing over here, his martial arts thing. I've never been a fan of martial arts, but I guess it's like really effective. So the place looks pretty guarded, a little bit more guarded than I was probably anticipating, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. They're only dust bandits. Sure, there may be a lot of them, but I don't think it's anything we can't handle. So why don't we just dive right in? Apparently we'll have to batter down this gate. Oh God, they have crossbowers. That's not good. Thank God these guys have helmets. That's all I'm going to say. Why are only like three? three of you actually battering down the gate. This is taking entirely too long. Half my people aren't even doing anything. They're just standing there. Yeah, we should probably pull half these guys back. They're not doing anything. All right, let's just send a few of these guys to go and batter down the gate. I don't know if there was just too many of them to do anything, but they weren't doing anything. There we go. Nice and synchronized swings. That's what I like. Carrick just has to come along and ruin everything. Yeah, there we go. It's only a matter of time now. And it looks like there we go. Gates open. Storm the combat pound, kill everyone in sight, kill them all. We're not taking any prisoners. I'm pretty sure there's like a boss here, like a difficult person to kill, like the Dust Bandit King. Oh, is that him right there, actually? Yeah, that's him. Dust King, bounty of 35,000 cats. Yeah, that's pretty high. He's got decent stats, too. Oh my god, my people aren't even doing anything. It took me this long to realize that there's only like six of us actually in the compound. I am, however, very surprised that we held our own out for that long. Man, I should have a little squad of martial artists. I swear, it's so cool to watch them fight. Yeah, it doesn't look like these guys stand a chance. Did we kill the Dust Bandit King? Is that him? Yep, that's... No, that's definitely not him. There he is. I'm thinking we should probably take this guy back, prisoner or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, he had some pretty crap gear. It wasn't bad, but it was uh, pretty horrible. All right, and I guess that's it. That proved no obstacle whatsoever. What do these guys got? What can we loot? Anything? Sake? Crossbow, I guess? They have a little bit of bread. We'll go ahead and take their bread. They probably don't have anything of value. Well, that was fun. That was uh, definitely an experience, I I guess. It wasn't that hard, though. We really just steamrolled over those people. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang out here for a second. We're gonna keep knocking them down as they get up. We're gonna train up our attack that way. Every little bit helps at this point. We'll go back to our base, see what's going on here. We've got a few prisoners we can potentially recruit. Oh, wait. Just what I thought. Apparently, we accidentally kidnapped a, uh, a human, a Scorchlander, it looks like. Well, that's useless. Let's go ahead and set that one free. Oh, crap. They ran away. There they go. Look at them go. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see 
see if we can uh, recruit a few of them. Okay, that's right. There's a certain order or certain dialogue you gotta choose. Um, okay, you're in. There you go. Yes, here we go. My favorite time. A time where we get to recruit more people to our little hive. And it looks like we have a mint, right? Mint. Yeah, that's definitely mint. M-Y-N-T, too easy. M-Y-N-T. Welcome to the hive, mint. It looks like we got two worker drones here. Excellent. And it looks like a third that unfortunately lost its leg. Okay, you're in. We got another one, it looks like. Low Wang, it looks like. Easy, Low Wang. Welcome to the hive, man. The thing I like about Black Dragon Ninjas is you don't need any food to recruit them. All right, and it looks like we got another one. Yes, we did. We have one Ian. Ian or Ian, I, I, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that's Ian, Ian. Welcome to the hive, Ian. And we have one more cripple who apparently doesn't want to give me the talk option. Great, you know what? Screw that guy. We're just gonna go over to our warriors. All right, everything looks as it should be, except there's a, uh, a guy floating in midair, it looks like. It's hard to tell. Yeah, that guy's definitely floating. It should not be like that. So I'm checking all these guys and I'm noticing a common trend. They're all dead. Like every single one, I check is dead. We did a good job here, man. Taking care of all these. Uh, oh, this one's in a recovery coma. You know what? That's fine. We don't care. Is there anywhere else in the vicinity that we should go? What's this unknown tower? That certainly could be worth checking out. Why don't we go and do that? While they're traveling to that tower, why don't we go and build more farms, more crops? We are going to expand our production of wheat. We're going to make a lot more wheat and hopefully we're going to make a lot more bread that way. Because you can never go wrong with bread. This is going to give us a total of of eight wheat farms. That should be enough. We may have to even make another farmer. Who knows? This tower should be over here. Yep, there it is. Oh crap, it's the Black Dragon Ninjas. I had no idea this was their base. Now I wonder if we raid this base, will the attacks stop? One of my viewers in one of my other videos said they wouldn't, so I'm gonna take their word for it and just go ahead and commence the assault. Hopefully this isn't too much for us to handle. I wouldn't think so, but you never know. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of green, some decent amounts of red. I'm seeing a a lot of them on the ground though, which is always a welcome sight. This is good. This is very good. I'm not sure if there's like a black dragon ninja king or queen. I'm pretty sure it's a girl leader. How we distinguish her from the rest of them, I have no idea. That could take a while if we were even willing to search all the bodies. And I'm not even sure this is their main HQ. It's just a barracks. Theoretically speaking, we could be searching for a body that doesn't even exist in this location. I don't know. All right, so I'm not seeing anyone with a bounty. I'm not seeing any unique NPC or whatever. I'm not seeing anyone that could be identified as being a le- Ooh, who did we click on with that 20,000 bounty? Yes, Buzan. Okay, Buzan, we're definitely gonna be kidnapping you. I'm also gonna assume that this Buzan is the only person here with a bounty or of any significant importance or anything like that. I've concluded that this is indeed not the Black Dragon Ninja's HQ. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments because I honestly don't know. I'm just making assumptions. We'll go ahead and keep our guys here for a little bit. Let them get some experience. We'll go back to our base, see how our production of, uh, or our construction rather, of our new crops are going. Oh yeah, looks like we found our ancient science book. Got caught stealing it, though. In my defense, this is not theft. It's more like looting, you know, because we already killed everybody. It's just we're looting all their stuff now. You know what we might do? We might go to one of these holy mines, see if we can stir up some trouble with the holy nation, because why the heck not? We're on a roll. Why stop here, you know? Oh, uh, looks like we got ambushed. That's always fun. Nothing we can't handle, though. It looks like a bunch of hungry bandits. Ooh, wait, dust bandits, actually. Hungry bandits and dust bandits, apparently? Because that's a thing. They're working together now, maybe. I don't no, probably not. Looking at their stats, they're into high 20s, but it shouldn't be anything we won't be able to handle. Consider the people we're about to liberate lucky. All right, let's see how they react. You, you are not welcome here, Dark Beast. This is sacred territory. I did not know that. Okay, let's go ahead and just attack them all. Alarm raised. Hopefully they don't cleave off any of my guys' limbs. The Holy Nation are now hostile towards you. That is not surprising. So far, so good. We're just totally overwhelming them. There's not nearly enough of them. All these prisoners are they running out to attack me or are they attacking the enemy? They better be attacking the enemy, the Holy Nation people. We could take them as slaves, but I really don't like the idea of having any other race in this playthrough. Yeah, this base fell pretty quickly. These guys didn't stand a chance. All right, now, where did they keep their food? Well, that's definitely not it. That's not it either. That's not it. Gosh, all these things are filled with books. I'm not seeing any food whatsoever. They have to have food around here, right? I mean, they gotta be able to feed themselves. They gotta eat. These guys are are absolutely crazy. They're fanatics about okra. I mean, the 
this this entire thing is just filled with okra and paraphernalia. It's, it's sad. That's what it is. It's freaking sad. How do these people sustain themselves? You know what? We gotta get out of here. These guys are gonna follow me, aren't they? If they join me, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just send them into the wilderness to die or something like that. This is a Hiver only playthrough. I put that in like every title of every video. Can't go around having humans in our hive. It goes against the very nature of this entire thing. Well, that was fun. Now we know we can take on the holy nation. I mean, when I look at my stats, they're not much better than the other people's. You know, they're in the high 20s, some even in the low 20s, you know? Pretty sure it's just our sheer numbers that are really helping us, you know, giving us that boost that we need to be able to successfully attack these people. Pretty soon, these people should be deciding on whether they want to join me or not. I'm surprised they haven't already. All right, here we go. They're they're fleeing. They're running away now. Uh-oh, I'm joining you. That does not sound good. It looks like we're having more join us. This is not what I need. I'm joining you. Okay. All right. How many of you are there? Five. Okay. I want to see all five of you guys try to take on all these guys over here. Yeah. And all the rest of you, uh, make your way back to our outpost. All right. Let's see how our new human recruits do. I'm expecting big things from them. Big things indeed. You always hear how they're superior to the hivers. So I guess now we'll see. Oh, what's this? It looks like one of them, one of them is knocked out. Oh my gosh. And another one knocked out and another one knocked out. Would you look at that? All my humans are dead. Gosh dang it, that sucks. I'm absolutely heartbroken. Is this like a camp? Yeah, this is a little camp. All right, well now we know that for future uh, endeavors against the dust bandits. And here our hivers return safely back to the base. This is excellent. I think this is a perfect place to end episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. A big thumbs up. That'd really help me out. If you want to see more Kenji content, more content like this, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already joined the Discord, the link is in the description. Come on over. Anybody and everybody is welcome. Also in the description is the link to the most thriving Kenji community out there. Discord wise of course. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I highly recommend it. Lastly, Guys, I think we all knew the time was coming. It's time we named our outpost. I wasn't going to keep it called Outpost Forever. Of course, I was going to get around to naming it. I just haven't yet until now. Right now, you guys have a chance to contribute to the naming process. It's all very simple. You leave me a comment in the comments with what you think the outpost should be called. I will then select a handful of my favorites, and then you guys can vote on those. So don't be shy, you know. This is democracy right here. Leave a comment on what you think the outpost should be called. That's all I got for right now. Once again, thank you for watching as always, and I will see you next time.